Well, good morning, friends and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 8th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent disaster, 5.8 in Peru. Now, we've had a very active Sabancaya volcano just east of this most recent earthquake. 5.8, 69 kilometers west. We also have an active Sabancaya volcano. A lot of active volcanoes as of late, as I've been reporting on this channel as well. Look at this winter storm, western United States. And our sun just ejected another CME Looking here at the last go two images, you can see that eruption. We do have Earth facing sunspot right now, and it is very active. We've been following our sun the last few days, as it this is the most action we've seen, and it feels like months. Two strong sunspots a lot of energy associated with these things watch for a small solar plasma tornado just underneath the second incoming sunspot we're just going to zoom in here And just underneath of it, you can see this black towering tornado of plasma. Right there. I want to thank you all for watching today and for joining Morning Dew. All of my new subscribers, thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to get every update as it happens because I try my best to put out disaster alerts as they happen I do have another full time job so it's tough to juggle both but I want to thank you looking here at the Emerald Spiral this is the next five days the next three days sorry for space weather forecast and you can see our sun is there in the center the yellow earth is green and you can see that energy coming towards us right now that will be here by the 12th so watch for an uptick in seismicity depending on the earth facing energy Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As I posted in the beginning there, the 5.8 earthquake in Peru, that is most recent, in Minas de Marcona, Peru, 5.8 at a 10 kilometer depth. They've had a few small earthquakes the last 24 hours here, around it as well in Bolivia and Chile, Calima. As well, the West Chile rise. So a lot of movement in South America. Not as big as I had predicted, thank God. But we're still watching large deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. 499 kilometer depth here. Largest earthquake the last 72 hours. This is 7.2. Around the planet we go, looking at two earthquakes, Yemen, 4.7 and a 4.6. And on the other side of the African continent, north of Ascension Island, a 5.0 and a 5.4. It's a very active today. I was watching, or uh, sorry, reading a couple reports that there's a newly activated possible subduction zone in Europe. We're going to be looking more into that in the next coming 
couple of videos. So make sure you stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Study geological events, and of course, weather. Brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteor Mike 5 Day Forecast. Most of the extreme weather is going to be in the United States. There's not many uh, active systems around our planet right now, except in the Southern Hemisphere. But this low pressure center that's going to be heading across the United States over the coming days will be bringing some intense thunderstorms, tornado conditions, and as well flooding conditions. You can see a huge swath of rain heading northeast as that low pressure center develops warm air coming from the Gulf of Mexico. So it will be electrifying. We're going to have to keep an eye on the electric uh, lightning count because I do believe that it will be active. Last week we had, I think it was almost 300 lightning strikes per minute. Wow. So yeah, a couple large low pressure systems developing over northern Australia. And the one over northern Australia will dissipate, but the one over the eastern side is heading straight south towards this long train of low pressure systems heading out around the southern hemisphere right now. And just watching this huge low pressure center which keeps breaking and reforming in this area right here. I wanted to show you a NASA worldview what this low pressure center looks like from our satellites. So looking at NASA worldview, zoom in to the tip of South America and you can see this very large low pressure center with a huge atmospheric river on its wing. So drastic weather events happening across the world, these low pressure centers are only going to get bigger and stronger with more velocity, more depth, and more rain. We're seeing it happen across the planet. I've watched these increases over the past five years, and this is why Morning Dew is here for you. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. I'll leave you here looking at the last seven days image over North America for weather systems. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.